Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake it, your fuck. Up, Got a question to ask you, do you know fine? Do you know that I come from where that toast burn? New York, New York, a one four third. A hungry ham up on a corner. These hates to lean and never so burn. Quit from being in the streets to run a culture. I never been at the weed behind hoes, bruh. Who that jiggy motherfucker with the clothes, bruh? I finna kill these motherfuckers with the flow, bruh. I'm the best in the game with the flow, bruh. In New York, I mainly rock to Magnolia. I love the East, but shout out to every coast, bruh. South to North and even West Coast, bruh. The fuck guy. Call me Mr. East Coast, motherfucker. <laughs> That was my contribution. Woo! <laughs> I should have threw that in there. This might be, this is the illest collabo record out right now. Yup. This is the illest. This reminds me of when you used to do those collaboration uh, songs, Heather B, and, you, and, and it was an event. Yeah. When you get, let me see on this, you got Buster Buster. Rhymes Buster. at his finest. Mm. Yes. And his prime. ASAP Rocky's on there. D good to hear Rocky too, man. Yep. Rocky yeah. caught a zone on this. Yeah, he did his thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't even think of when is Rocky right? Like I only see him doing everything else. <laughs> yeah, he 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 got a lot of songs. He's a song hoarder. Oh, he has okay. so much songs. He has like so much projects. He got projects with people. He just he's very meticulous on what he puts out. Okay, yeah. okay, he's one of those. Okay, yeah. Dave East is rapping nowadays with a confidence like he's King Kong. Yeah, he's on that French Montana brought it. Yeah, he brought that bounce. That bounce, right? Mm -hmm. French winning right now too. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's winning. Um, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. <laughs> Damn. Snoop <laughs> got the legend on there. Yep. <laughs> they don't talk about Snoop enough. No, we always don't. talk about Pac, Big, Jay, Nas. Gotta talk about Snoop. Absolutely, yeah. we have to. Snoop Hell forged a whole new style, like you know that laid back, like people wasn't doing that back then. You know the uh, even his ad libs, his uh -huh. his is kind of very his harmony. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's it's, it's, it's melody on top of raps. Mm -hmm. He talking about some gangster shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like talking about some gangster shit, but the girls could like it as well right. if they don't feel like they don't know what it is. Right, so it's, it's ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to ask you about the song "Playing Jane" because the minute I heard it, I grew up in Texas, mm. and I didn't think anybody knew about "Slob on My Knob." What? And so that, everybody that, that, yeah. knows about that shit. But, but I never. You would never hear yeah. 36 Mafia played in New York like that, you know, what yeah. I mean? especially a song that wasn't a hit single, you know yeah. what I mean, from 36. So my question is, I feel like you would have a wish list of people that you would want to work with, whether not even just in hip hop. I mean, rock, R&B, Alive or Dead. I'm just curious who, who would those people be. Um, I would love to work with you two. I would love to work with Seal. I actually spoke to Seal like mm. a year ago just about like, you know, getting together and catching some vibes. What do you say? Um, he said he he loves my music and you know this is around the time he was going through like stuff with his marriage and stuff so yeah. you know it kind of you know it was kind of shaky but yeah we definitely want to get in uh, yeah. in the studio and do some stuff. This was before the Sharknado commercial that where you got ate by the shark on the beach. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> A seal got ate by a shark. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> so stupid. Um, I love seal. A lot of producers. I want to talk to Quincy Jones just about like Sonics and what inspires him. Um, Dr. Dre, I would love to work with Jay Z, of mm -hmm. course. Um, yeah, you you worked with uh, Kirk Knight. Yeah, I love working with Kirk. That's my little bro. Yeah, Kirk Knight from the Pro Era collective. Shout out to Pro Era. Um, it, it, it must be for him. I mean, he's he's put he's put his work in, but it, it seemed like you think big. You you know you you don't feel like you see vision. You know yeah. what I mean? You think big. Definitely. Given Kirk Knight. A yeah. guy like that who's kind of, you know, we know him. Mm -hmm. Right. Does the world know him? Giving yeah. him that opportunity. Yeah. What is it that he brings that that's comparison to a, a Khalil? Or Man, guys? that dude is so talented and he knows. He knows his, his he knows music. Yeah. He knows how to put sounds together. He studies music the best. We, we talk about RZA. We talk about um, Khalil. We talk about Dr. Dre. And we talk, so, we talk about what makes people move to to their sonics uh -huh. and um yeah like he's just one of those those prodigies that i feel like you know he you know once the world really get a, a win to him it's gonna be a problem he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with and if i got the platform you know what i'm saying uh -huh. for it 
I, I want to launch him off this, you know, like, you know, he already has pro where he has Joey badass, but it's like, you know, I noticed something in him and I'm like, all right, this is the little bro. I'm going to go like this. Yo, all right, stand next to me. Uh -huh. Let's do, let's, let's see what we can do together. I like that. Yeah. It's that far to, um, platforms and launching. Last time you were here, one of the last times, Crystal Kane was here. Yeah, with, Crystal. With you and and yep. I just, I fell in love with her from that yeah. day. Just super, super talented. And just notice how you were helping her out. How's her stuff coming along? She's with you doing good. People? She's writing mm -hmm. a lot of music and producing a lot of music. She's keeping it going. Dope. She's working with a lot of producers and artists and things like that. So, yeah, it's really working out for her. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Y'all still cool? Yeah, hell okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Hey, South Park, I'm going to make sure because the way yeah. that sounds like the answer, she's doing good and she's working with artists. We cool. You know, that sounds oh, like it. But nah, no, she's, she, yeah. she, she, she did what she she did what she was supposed to do. She took it to the next level. And, yeah. you know, now she's busy with doing what she's doing. And, you know, I, I the last show I brought her out, I was on tour. I had I had brought her out before I brought Chris Brown out. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit, and this is before anybody knew any of her records. Yeah. So, like, you know, I this is what I want people to do. Like I talk to Marty all the time, you know, that's my little bro. And I'd be like, yo, I want you you got you got the benefit of seeing me do it, Rocky do it, twelve E. You you got the blueprint in front of you. Not saying that you have to follow in our footsteps, but like you have the chance to be better than us. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to to follow what I'm doing. Be better than us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Quick little left turn. I'm curious, if you had to teach a course about something outside of music, though, what do you think it would be about? Mm. I think it would just be having conversations with people, like, almost like a therapist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, I always like to figure people out, like, growing up, because um, I took marketing in college. So it's like I feel like that's a part of marketing is knowing what the your field wants and everything like that and knowing right. what, what makes people tick. So I think that like I'll probably be like a therapist or something like that, mm -hmm. like sitting with people. Have you applied that with your fans? Like have you noticed um things that maybe they wanted from you or just the industry in general and maybe it's evolved now in twenty seventeen? Have you seen different patterns? I'll give you an example because yesterday I saw you in here wearing a pink shirt. Right. A sweater. <laughs> no, he wore that. Oh, the T shirt. The T shirt. Yeah. What made you wear that color? Was it had something to do with marketing or? Oh no! Nah, nah. <laughs> well, I like pink one, and I'm from Harlem, so it's like a homage to Cam. <laughs> Damn, that was queued up fast. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, yeah, Cam is on a, the uh, the still striving as well. Yeah. So shout Rubber out to band him. man. Well, um, yeah, but it was a merino shirt. It was by my boy ASAP Addy, and um, it's a dope shirt. I just decided to put it on. The other one that I had on, I was performing and it got sweaty, so I just okay. So it wasn't marketing, but you do, <laughs> nah. but you do use to her point your marketing, what you yeah. learned in marketing to appeal to your audience. Yeah, but I haven't even really, I, like, I didn't stay in college, so I didn't learn much in marketing. Uh huh. But like naturally, I think subconsciously, you know, I see what's happening. I pay attention. I read comments, and I kind of get a gist of what people want. Okay. Yeah. Still striving is out this Friday. Um, we're going to open up the phone lines. Everything you hear us play this morning is from this project, so I'm yeah. giving it to you now. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. We, we already gave you the East Coast remix. DB brought up Plain Jane. Uh, so let's hear that. ASAP Ferg, here you got any questions? 888-742-3345. It's 20 in the morning. Only from Shea 45.